What up? It's your boy Afro back here with another video. I want to start this off by making it crystal clear that I am not a big Little Yari fan. I am familiar with some of his music. I've heard some of his more popular songs here and there, but if I'm honest, I don't think they're bad. They're just not really my thing. So when I heard he was dropping a new album, my first instinct was honestly, I don't care. We do not care. However, I kept hearing from people whose opinion in music I do respect that the album's actually pretty good and I should give it a listen, even if I'm not a big fan of some of his older stuff. So I did. I gave it a few listens, in fact, and I was so surprised by what I heard that I decided that I wanted to make a video to share some of my thoughts. I'm not going to go through every single song, I'm just going to highlight some of the core areas that I did and didn't like. But before we get into it, I'd like to take a moment to ask that you like and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content. Doing so just helps me get a better gauge on whether you enjoy this kind of content, whether you want to see more of it. Let me know in the comments as well. All the engagement helps, it helps push the album a lot. Anyway, let's get into this. Let's start with the things that I loved. The album pretty much immediately subverts expectations with its opening song The Black Seminole, with a production style that leans far more heavily into a more psychedelic rock slash funk sound and it manages to maintain that sound pretty much throughout the entire project. The first song is a bit of a beast, it's almost seven minutes long, but the guitar solo around the two minute mark, amazing. The drum solo towards the end, also incredible. Honestly, it's a long track but it's worth listening to beginning to end because as a whole it's an incredible listening experience. I love the production on the second song called The Ride. The bass line has this detuned Moog bass style sound which gives this song a really spacey and ethereal feel. At first I wasn't actually sure how I felt about it. Bass is generally best experienced in a more mono sound but here's an example where I think playing around with reverb and stereo separation type effects on bass actually can work really well. We also got a really nice indie pop style track with running out of time. The upbeat feel of the drums and the melodic sound selection just gave it a really retro nostalgic feel. We also got a sneaky little feature from Justine Sky on this song. She doesn't really get to shine to her full potential on this but in my opinion she's a nice subtle addition to the track and she plays the role that she's supposed to play the song really well. She also has a couple other features in the album, one in particular Drive Me Crazy, which I also thought was a great track. Again, it had a similar kind of indie funk sound, which gave the project a really upbeat feel. The album also closes with what is potentially one of my favourite songs on the project, which provides a far more immersive and ethereal feel compared to a lot of the other songs, that in my opinion brings the album to a really spectacular close. In my opinion, there was a lot to love about this. There are, however, a few things that don't hit quite right for me. As a whole, Lil Yadi's vocal performance on this didn't really grab me. Some songs I felt he did a decent job of holding his own, but on other ones it felt like the use of processing and auto-tune effects on his vocals just made him sound really out of place on some of the tracks. There were a few songs that I found this to be the case, but one in particular that really stood out for me in this was Say Something, where the use of auto-tune and processing effects on the vocals just made them sound really artificial, which sounded really out of place against the very organic style of production of the track. I also wasn't a fan of the monologue that happens around halfway through the project on failure. I guess he was going for a more reflective, introspective type of piece on the album here, but if I'm completely honest, to me it just came across a little bit forced and contrived. However, considering that one of my main critiques is the fact that there's a little monologue that I didn't like, I think that says a lot on my opinion of the album. My overall thoughts on this? I actually thought that this was a really impressive project. Not flawless by any means, but an earnest and pretty effective attempt of doing something new and unique. The production in particular is extremely well done, and whilst I'm not particularly keen on how Little Yadi's vocals sound on some of these songs. Overall, I still think he did a pretty decent job of holding his own. I also have to give him ridiculous props for trying something new. I can't think of that many artists that are as established as he is that would be willing to do something that goes so against their brand and what they usually make. It's a huge risk to take, but in my opinion, it's a risk that's paid off. I think it's really established him as an artist that is genuinely trying to provide something new and unique to the craft rather than churning out the same song after song after song. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you lot in the next one.